Welcome back to Jet Set Radio Future. In the last episode, we took on Fortified Residential Zone and collected all the graffiti souls I missed. In this episode, we're going to be going to Skyscraper District and doing the challenges there since I've already collected the mystery tape there. Slowly working our way towards the very end of Collectathon mode. Uh, I noticed actually something while I was in the garage right here. If you look at Hikage Street and the garage, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, much like the building skyline looks very similar and uh, the platforms that you walk on in the garage look very very similar almost as if Hikage Street was once attached to it. And if you look at the introduction to Hikage Street where you come from it looks strikingly similar to the entrance you come from when you go towards Shibuya Terminal. I have a theory that I like to propose and that is I think that the introduction to Shibuya Terminal was swapped because it, you go to that area more than you do Hakage Street. And instead they took that extra spot in Shibuya Terminal and gave it to them. Alright, let's check what I need to do first. 65 tricks, 110,000 points, and go circle around the ferrule. Try not to fall. Alright, we're going to do that one first. That seems easy enough. If you noticed, uh, when we come through here and go past my old tags, you might notice some of them are a little different. I actually went and changed my graffiti. All right, let's try this real quick. I believe this is uh, what you do is you just go across like this. Easy enough. They have like hands marking where you need to jump off and everything. You have to go a couple times around, I think, too. Uh, I'm not really sure, actually, because I don't remember this being that difficult. Oh, that's what that was, yeah. Uh, the, bit, the main difficult part is hitting the pharaoh's uh, goatee, I guess. Uh, I don't know what you call that. I'm pretty sure it's like a goatee. Your problem is hitting that, because you have to uh, go across in order to get to it, and then that happens. So let's try this again. Oh, cool. Nice lock on. But, uh, yeah, this is basically like, um, what was the other go around and not, uh, not fall off? The other fall off one that you shouldn't do was, uh, Shibuya Terminal, and that one was a pain. And I think this one is not as finicky as you don't have, like, a certain, you do have, like, a certain spot you do have to start at. And it's not, I think it might operate like the whole death ball thing where you can start anywhere and you just have to make it back to that spot, but I really don't know. I don't want to say for certain. Gosh, we're about to pass by some of these stuff that I don't want to. I don't want to leave it here and pretend like I don't notice it, because there are some stuff here that I can go ahead and do. But I'm not gonna do. Oh, what was that? Oh, that counts. I very clearly fell off. Okay, game. All right, let's see. Where's I? Where am I gonna get my 65? I think I can do that. Hmm, let me think. There's a couple places in this level that have a really long uh, grind. Oh, I know exactly where I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut to when I get there, though. All right, I'm actually cutting back in for here because this location is completely new to us, and we haven't been here before. If you notice, at this section, there was actually two directions I could go, and I completely didn't acknowledge one of them. That was because there is nothing over here during story mode events, but during after events, you can come back here conveniently and do a little bit of interesting stuff that the game pretends to not know that it exists. Let's get over there real quick. Easiest way, of course, to get over there uh, is just... Uh, do this. You get over here. Right, let's see. Can I turn to that? Yeah, there it is. And you just jump across right here. This is known as the Super Tower. I don't have another name for it, but uh, a simple little rule of this Super Tower is the red rails. Uh, yeah, the red rails go around infinitely. So if we slow down on these red rails and just keep going at it, eventually we will accomplish our goal and we will get the 65 tricks. I just remembered this uh, location. I think this is where you're supposed to do it. I mentioned in Fortified Residential, as you go, uh, they get more and more tricks as they go along. And I think Fortified Residential Zone is the maximum at 100 tricks. That being because there are so many easy places to get maximum tricks. I don't know why don't they do it here, though, because there is very clearly that one. All right, cool. Open up the menu. 110,000 points. All right, this one's going to be a bit of a doozy. I don't remember if there's any easy places you can do this. Is this, is this a 500 point? No, it is not. Gosh. All right, I'm going to go ahead and climb this tower because there is a, a high point. Actually, no, you know what? I know exactly where I need to go. Right at the bottom here. Let's go ahead and do some tricks on our way down. See if I can practice my air combos. So if I didn't get air combo right there, that would have been my opportunity. This right here, these 
pillars. Yes, there they are. So if you notice, uh, our goal here is actually to maximize tricks and then jump to our death. That's the really only good way to go. Oh yeah, by the way, by climbing on top of this, you actually activate the uh, Ferris go round. Uh, Pharaoh's go round. I tried to do uh, Pharaoh's wheel. Didn't really work out. And then I tried to do Merry go round on top of it at the same time. I would recommend activating that first, though. Oh, come on. You've given me more <sighs> gimmies than that. So, uh, if you notice, you have to activate this first. Uh, so when I jump, it doesn't get in my way. Uh, that was a complete accident that I actually did that. But now that I notice it, that is something I'd probably do in the future every time I go through this section. So, of course, you want to activate it and kind of... Let's just let's just go off like this. See if it'll give it to me. Yay, 100,000. And I die. Ooh, I'm going to fall in... Oh, nope, that's not a loaded zone. Well, now we've unlocked all the graffiti souls. This is going to be a doozy to get all of them. And one of them just so happens to be on top of the tower. So I'm going to head back to the tower real quick. I'm going to cut to that. All right, so what I'd recommend getting to the top of this tower is always take every opportunity to go higher when you can. For instance, uh, whenever you see these like combinations of, oh gosh, that is not good. Uh, you're going to do that a lot on your first try. Of course, it's not my first try, so I need to just step my game up. What you need to do is whenever you see a yellow connected to a red on the higher path, always take it because it will lead you higher. So that's kind of your goal. I think I went the wrong direction, actually, so that's probably what my issue is. Yeah, definitely. Yep, there's the first one. So you notice how that one kind of connected? Also, always be aware on the yellow paths because the yellow paths actually do not uh, loop like the red ones do. So if you stay on a yellow path for too long, there's a good chance that you will actually fall off at the very end. There's another jump at the very end. I would always just consider the red ones a safety. Oh gosh, that one's a that one's a doozy. All right, yeah, here we go. Get another shot. So let's go this way. This is the very end of this. Jump. Cool. I'm so glad I had enough speed to clear that because I completely slowed down and didn't do any combos to get higher. There's our next section. Of course, you can see right there. That rail is not going to take us any higher, so we need to be very careful. Oh, no. Is this going... Oh, there it is. Let's say I, I noticed one going higher, and I thought I might have been going the wrong direction, but luckily, we are just fine. This is a completely new location they do not mention in the entire game, so let's go ahead and get on top right here. We'll be coming back to this location later on, though. Uh, either it's for the Golden Rhino graffiti tags that I haven't decided on using yet, or if you're just for the sake of it, going to be doing it for the jet graffiti. Uh, j oh, wow. Killing two birds with one stone. How convenient. Let's slow down there. All right, so we got two. Well, I completely didn't even notice that that was a thing I could have done. Well, that's all right. So let's head to our main hub by flying over here and hurting myself in the process. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a lot of shortcuts by doing that. And at the same time, I'm going to be uh, doing some uh, health maintenance to make sure that I don't die in the process. Uh, of course, there are these little sections right here that allow us to get some cans just to catch up. Really convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and head over here and get some of them. And as well as uh, doing a little checkup on our save point right here. So one of them, I think, is actually this direction, is it? Yeah, it is. Cool. We're going to go ahead and do these two. Two, I believe. I didn't even notice there's another one. Uh, the first one being, of course, that platform right there. So we need to make a jump to get there first. Really? Okay, that's fine. I was very clearly high enough for that for a while. All right. I think it just went down too low. So, oh gosh, I forgot about that jump. That jump's basically a you make it or you die. But good thing we have some health cans here just in case. I'm going to grab one on my way back just in case I don't die. So I'd recommend going onto this building, I guess, since that that's not going to work for us. Oh gosh, I forgot this ramp gives us speed. Slow down. Please don't be one of those fall. It's not cool. So you're actually supposed to jump off this building right here to notice there's a graffiti soul on top of that uh, building over here. Once again, there is no reason to come over here in case you knew that that was there. All right, cool. And you're ready to fly. It's really interesting because it's almost like Skyscraper District is taking over or the Faro Park is taking over Skyscraper District. If you look at all this construction, the platforms we're going on top of, the platforms are made of the same material that Faro Park is. So it quite literally looks like that's what's happening here. All right, so I wouldn't recommend jumping off this section because there is an easier way to get across. 
simply by taking the crane here. I'm going to do it real quick. Maximize speed. Oh, that was weird. I don't want to ever deal that again. All right, let's see if that'll give me a shortcut. I uh, would have if I wouldn't have slowed down with fear of not making it. Can I make it across this? Yes, I can. Cool. Next Graffiti Soul is going to be across this building, so we're going to go ahead and stay over here for this. Of course, there was no reason to ever come over here uh, during my normal one because there's no graffiti tags over here. And this kind of looks similar to uh, Bokaku Dai here. Little reference. All right, yeah, and then our Graffiti School is going to be on top of the very end of this. Is it? Just making sure. Yeah, it is. We just can't see it because it hasn't been loaded in yet. Wow. Um, is that going to lift me up? Or am I just dead? Can I? Yeah, a jump can save me. Cleverly placed jump. And a uh, uncleverly placed boost. All right. Fall back down, Garam. Gosh, that's a long trek back. But at least my health can's respawn, so I'll go ahead and grab one of those. One of those, because I don't need to grab both. That's a waste. So you can notice right here, that's one of my changed graffiti tags. I believe that's the large one I changed. Uh, a lot of them I did, uh, one of them I did for reference to uh, the Silent Laws using his signature uh, small graffiti tag. And the other ones I just did because I thought they looked colorful and pretty cool. All right, let's try this one more time. Easy enough. A uh, little time to boost just in case. Go ahead and collect more cans because this game, gen or this level, uh, they conveniently give you cans whenever you need to because there's really no convenient path to take, so they're always letting you use boost. Oh, that was weird again. I don't want to look at that anymore. Okay, well, let's do just a couple jumps to get off. Oh, wow, that was really good. Let's jump at the very end and see if I can keep going as fast. Oh, gosh, I'm just making great time on this section. Go ahead and throw a boost because I'm feeling arrogant with it. And perfect. Wow, that was really nice. Can I jump across this? Yes, all right, well, that was a flawless run of that section. So let's go ahead and check for our next graffiti soul. Oh, that's the one I neglected to do when I was doing Skyscraper District the first time. Too bad I had to come back and do it anyways. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I wasted all of my cans boosting from building to building, and I'm already back up to the maximum, which is really, really nice. So let's do this. This one's going to be a little difficult. I would recommend for this uh, going up and actually doing the inverts because it makes things so much more convenient if you do so. so can, I, can I gimp it again? I did. Sweet. And then, of course, I recommend you will not, you will not survive this. Just go ahead and... Admit that you're going to not survive it. So you tilt your way to look at the graffiti soul. Gosh, I hate that it's doing that. And then we just boost. I pressed the B button, and then it didn't do anything. Well, we're going to warp all the way back. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect some cans since they're here. Gosh, that's so aggravating, knowing that I literally did that perfectly, and the game couldn't have been more finicky with me. Uh, you might think you could just grind... What? I very clearly turned. You might think you could just grind across these, but the gap is just slightly big enough. I think they kind of planned that through, that you couldn't just uh, skip that part. You will have to do inverts, because they do give you the maximum speed you can get across these gaps. All right. Try number two. Oh, gosh. I hate that involuntary speed on these ramps. Boost. What? I boosted, and it didn't give me any speed. Ooh, I don't want to die to one graffiti soul. That's like the ultimate just fake. What? That's a really, really high jump. Gosh, I don't want to I don't want to do this part anymore. It's making me really nervous. Oh, I did it again. All right, you know, let's do this the way it wants me to. You go up, invert, go across. This is how you're supposed to do it. And at the very end, your last jump between so it makes you survive. So let's go ahead and do that that way because the invert's going to give me a ton of speed. Oh, I missed it. Well, we're here anyway, so let's do the combination of Gimp and Not. The same thing happened. That's got to be a glitch that you can't get speed when you're doing that. It plays the animation, but it doesn't give you any speed. Gosh, that's so frustrating. Oh, well, let's try it again. Oh, please stop. Skyscraper District's really making me angry. Okay, let's go this way again. Do my little zigzag across the buildings because I don't want to waste any more cans or any more attempts. If it's going to be finicky with me, I might as well just play it. It's a silly game. All right, this time, let's definitely do this as accurate as possible. There we go. Gosh, you happy now, Skyscraper District? All right, let's go the other way now. 
Oh, I wonder if I can gimp the other direction. That would be convenient. Wow. All right, this is working just swimmingly. All right, we jump across this. There we go. Flawless victory. All right, let's check. Oh, that's on the other side of the level. All right, I'm going to head over there. See you guys over there. All right, I made it on top of this building. So I believe the way this one's going to work is we're going to have to platform across some building as soon as I find out how to get up on top of these. It seems that there's not a single easy way to get up there. Other than, you know, like these. I don't believe that's how you're supposed to do it. Cool. Oh, let's check this map. Yeah, it's definitely right there. So let's go ahead and try to figure out a way. Eh, close enough. All right, let's go down these satellite dishes. All right, found exactly what you have to do over here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do it as gently as possible. Oh, wow, that was not how you're supposed to go on that rail. But all right, I'm here. You wall right across all these billboards, and it gives you just enough speed to make it on top of these buildings. This is a very, very dangerous graffiti soul to get. And then you climb across this, and then these platforms. Really? All right, attempt number two. All right, Tim, back on building. Let's try this again. We gently go up this. This should be the hard part, not climbing across. And then once we're on top, there we go. Graffiti Soul. What number is that? 95. And with that, we have defeated Skyscraper District. In the next episode of Jet Set Radio Future, we're going to be taking on Sky Dinosaurian Square. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.